What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and to episode 2 of our post-duel commentary series. I got some great feedback on episode 1. If you missed it, it will be linked below in the description. But you guys seem to really like that one a lot, just as much as I enjoy making these. So as long as Hero Showdown keeps giving me good matchups, we will try to pump these out as often as we can. This first matchup is actually a continuation of that first video. This is my opponent from the first one, Zero. Shout out to you, man, if you're watching. This was a pretty quick matchup between Dooku and Luke. We'll call it the warm-up round. But this one was a lot of fun. Maul versus Luke, the two speedsters of Battlefront 2. Now, I selected these specific clips because all of these duels had a pretty big focus on parrying. And I'm pretty sure that if you've played Battlefront 2 at this point, you know what the parry is, you know how to do it. You may not know everything about it, but at the very least you get the, the concept, <laughs> as I lose sight of Luke right there. But you'll see that a lot of these duels uh, were won or lost because of the parry. Here I'm getting a lot of good shots into Luke because I was just parrying all of his hits and his abilities. But here he's catching back up, he got a good knockdown with Repulse, and followed up with a couple of shots. Here I see he's low, so I'm trying to use a quick spin attack combo to get the last hit in, but it didn't work. <laughs> As I spin attack right out of bounds. My opponent didn't see it, but my teammate fortunately got his attention, so Zero came back over and let me out. I'm spam blocking, trying to say thank you. And we resume. I was trying that saber throw chokehold combo, but it didn't work as I almost spin attack off the edge. I was really reckless with Maul this match. I'm just not realizing that. I dodged his attack and then got a hit in myself. And here I'm just kind of trying to bait the parry. I know he's looking for it just as much as I am, but he's also being careful because he's low on health. Parrying when you're low on health is risky business. You gotta be 100% certain that you're gonna land it, otherwise you will probably lose. But he's being patient, as am I. I got the parry in right there. And I got him with the return hit on the saber throw when he left himself open there. But the winning shot was actually a parry on the repulse right here. And I get two hits in and win the duel. That double hit is something I wanted to bring up because I have a tutorial video on dueling, or I guess more so parrying. It was another gameplay video like this where I'm just talking about the idea of parrying. Um, I didn't go super in-depth into it, and that was also because I didn't know everything at the time. Uh, but one thing I didn't bring up was the double hit. It's actually really useful, especially for Anakin against General Grievous. You can get the double hit parry in on his thrust surge, and it's really devastating. Zero does it to me here, and then you'll see me do it to a Grievous uh, in a little bit here. I avoided the heroic might and got the knockdown. I was surprised I got that knockdown, but I missed the follow-up attack. I'm running low on stamina, so I'm trying to back off and get it back, but he pulls me. Gets a good hit in. I'm running the Flesh's Weak star card, so my damage reduction is holding up. But as you can see, he parried a lot of hits right there. I think he parried two Claw Rush hits, and then one more before that. Now I'm down to nine health. I was very lucky to not get hit by Passionate Strike there and get the knockdown. That was pure luck. He's timing his strike so that he tries to get a parry on me, but I'm not risking it. These duels were great, man. A lot of them turned into straight-up chess matches. A lot of feeling out the opponent, waiting for them to make the first move. I got that knocked down with a good follow-up. And this Claw Rush missed. Had I landed that Claw Rush, he would have got knocked down, and I think I could have won the duel right there. He's being patient. He got a parry in. He missed that Passionate Strike, and I thought I had him, but I was just out of range. He parries my jump attack, surprisingly, and there's that double hit on Thrust Surge that I was talking about. Claw Rush stops me from getting knocked down. And Unrelenting Advance fails me for the thousandth time. I don't even know why I try to go for that ability anymore. It used to be really good. Now, these next two rounds were pretty fun. Uh, here, Dooku gets a quick knockdown on me, and here I'm trying to counter with the Heroic Might, but it just glitched out and I ate way too many hits there. I was trying to knock him down while he was hitting me, but it canceled the ability out, I think. But I got a lucky pull there with two follow-up hits and then a Passionate Strike. That one really hurt him. 
I think that one woke him up. He's playing a little bit more passively now. Got another hit into his back as he activated Duelist. I drew out the lightning stun with an emote. That worked out perfectly. Now he's just circling, trying to get an angle, but uh, I'm not making it easy for him. This is where we start picking our shots. I'm not too sure what he was doing here. I wasn't sure if he was trying to get me to come behind there as well or what, but now he's going for shots into the back by dodging behind me, but I'm anticipating it and dodging away. But now I know that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to dodge behind me and get a hit into my back. So I go for the knockdown, pull, and then finish. Up next is Grievous. And this one was wild. I was around half health. I'm at 560 at the start of this duel, so I was playing a little bit more cautiously than I would have if I had full health. But as you can see, I got Grievous down very quickly. And uh, there's that double parry into the thrust surge. So he's hurting just as much as I am now. And this is when it turns into a chess match. We both were waiting for the other to make the first move. We were playing very reactively instead of actively. I knew he was going to do the same thing, dodge behind my back and try to hit me, so I went for a Heroic Might to knock him down, and it worked. Double parry on the Thrust Surge, although he gets hit in right after. So I'm just trying to not take too many chances, even though he's low. And as you can see, I was going for some attacks on the Claw Rush. You can actually block Claw Rush and more or less parry it. Just another testament to the theme of today's video. He's going for a hook swing there. Got the knockdown with Heroic Might. If that second attack uh, connected, I probably could have beat him right there. Unfortunately, he dodged away in time. But as you can see, the pace of the duel just really slowed down. We're both picking our shots. We're not making unnecessary moves. He got a knockdown with Claw Rush there, but I hit him with the Heroic Might to stop his health recovery. He's super low, so he's backing off, waiting for his health to come back. I assume he has the Flesh's Weak Star card, so it takes a while for Grievous's health to come back when he's got that equipped. I missed that pull, and he cough emotes me. I think he's expecting me to be a ability spamming Anakin. Sometimes I can't be. But this duel, I'm playing it a little bit more patiently. I knew he was going to attack again, so I went for the Heroic Might. I only got one parry on that Thrust Surge, but I've been pretty much on point with the Thrust Surge parries. He, I don't think he's landed a single one this entire duel. He's hit Claw Rush a couple of times, but the Thrust Surge has been uh, pretty easy to avoid. And here he caught on to what I was doing with... Uh, I think it was after that knockdown. He caught on to the fact that every time he would dodge behind me, I would go for the knockdown. So after a while, he stopped going for the attack, and he would wait for me to do the ability first and then attack which was a smart move on his part. But only 30 seconds left on the clock. It's kind of a slow-paced, boring duel, but, you know, we were, we were both thinking hard. We were both making sure that we didn't make any stupid mistakes. Got a couple shots in with, uh, when he was using Claw Rush. But we're just really facing each other down, drawing out the attacks, waiting for the other to move first. There it is right there. That's that extra patience he was showing. He knew I was going to go for Heroic Might, so he blocked it first. That was good on him. And that's the round. Ends in a draw. <laughs> These next duels are a little bit faster paced. Uh, I didn't include it in this video because the loss was pretty embarrassing, but this guy got a uh, pretty quick finish on me the round before. I wasn't proud of it. Um... I would have chalked it up to luck, but he actually knew how to duel, so <laughs> I had to kind of put him in his place here. That's why I'm playing kind of aggressively. But as you can see, I'm timing my shots. I'm really looking for uh, the parry. He was very attack heavy in the first round, and he came in hard in the beginning here, so I was expecting him to keep that up. I also noticed every time he would dodge to my left, he would try to attack my side, so I knew to follow him uh, when he went that direction. See? He dodged to my left and went for the attack, and after a while I caught on to that. 
would hit him with the repulse when he would go for an attack or parry, knock him down, and then hit him myself. But he's playing very defensively here. He didn't go for the attack there. I think he's just trying to feel me out. And that's the end. Luke's knockdowns are insanely powerful. I feel like they're a little bit more consistent than Anakin's. But here we get into a match between the Dodgers. The LA Dodgers of Battlefront 2. Both Rey and Dooku have that extra dodge, so... It can be tricky when we're trying to hit each other in the back because we essentially cancel each other out with the amount of dodges we have. But this guy loves Duelist, and he was very heavy on the attack button there. I think I parried two or three consecutive Duelist strikes. He didn't like that very much. And par the course with Ray, I'm trying to trap him in a mind trick and then get behind him to do some damage into his back. There it was, he dodged left and behind me to try to get some attacks in, and I parried almost all of them. Those were some good dodges. Lightning stun gets blocked. Don't know how I got that hidden. I think his uh, block must have been down. Yep, he got some good shots in there. That did a lot of damage because he had exposed weakness on me. But I get the knockdown with dash strike and get two hits to finish the duel. And with that victory, that is episode two of our post-duel commentary series. I hope you guys liked this one. It was a little bit longer than the first. Uh, give me some more feedback in the comments below. Let me know what I can do better. If you want me to break down more specific techniques or keep doing this uh, theme idea where I basically have one theme per episode and kind of include clips that go with that theme. Uh, let me know. Hope you guys like this one. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you're new and be sure to get notified if you're not already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, guys.